into a lizard, something far more important happened. Scientists thought that the people wanted it, and the pharmaceutical companies wanted the people's money. There was hardly any question as to whether or not it would be okay for human beings, mortals as they have been called, to live forever. 300 milligrams, twice a week for the rest of eternity. People in my town, mostly religious people, began to tie balloons to their wrists as a statement of objection to this immortality drug. One man, a very brilliant man, named Aaron Marker, saw this balloon trend as a great opportunity to become a prophet, to unify believers of any kind here in our small town. He preached that the balloons were not just statements, that in this new and corrupt world, you few who maintain your dignity walk this earth with your very souls floating above you. But this is where my story really begins. I was born into this society, where Aaron's ideas had become a way of life for everyone, even long after he died and was martyred and all that. As nice as the metaphor may be, healing souls and encapsulated in latex, I always found the balloons to be a distraction. Adults didn't like that kind of thinking and tried to scare children with tales of a creature called the Hush. The Hush had a pointy face and punished those who don't wear their souls around their wrists. If you don't wear your soul, my mother used to say, You'll be turned into an animal, because animals presumably don't have souls. <coughs> One of the most persistent hush rumors about was of somebody's brother or sister's uncle or somebody who had turned into a lizard. And when I heard that the first time, I thought that maybe turning into a lizard wouldn't be that bad, a spider or something, no, but a lizard, you know, they just sit, uh, sun themselves, lick their eyeballs from time to time. So from that point on, I tried to attract the hush at all costs, until a few days ago, when I finally cut free my elastic soul and let it fly up into the atmosphere. This is a huge deal in my town. And so finally the hush came, and he seemed a bit put off by the fact that I wasn't quaking in fear, uh, but I was actually, in fact, looking forward to it. Hello. But now I know that you have to keep certain things hidden from the people in order to tell a better story. Because at the end of the day, I still believe that I'm a wizard. I know that I've been transformed. 